Hello fellow crafters. Today we are here to learn how to make these adorable, adorable pinwheel bows using these really awesome templates I found online for free. They're printable ones. I will leave the link down below on where to download them. Um, I printed mine out on cardstock and then backed it onto um, cardboard and it makes it flexible but still stiff enough that when you go to use it it's not bending all over the place. To get started you will need the templates obviously. Um, two single prong alligator clips. You are going to need ribbon for this tutorial. I am showing you how to use it, you know, how to do it with one and a half inch ribbon. Um, I won't give you any measurements on it because I just wind it off of the spool. Um, I found it leaves so that I don't have, you know, any leftovers or scraps. You will also need a pair of scissors, a lighter, and a needle and thread. So to get started, you're going to have to print out the templates get them backed on the cardboard if you wish. Um, once you have that done, you're going to take your ribbon have an end free you're going to place it on the left hand bottom side of the template back it all the way up to the edge. So you want it up against the edge, overlapping just ever so slightly. Take, and you're going to want it on a slight angle, like this. Take one of your clips, clip it, clip the ribbon to the template. It'll help it so it won't slide. Um, and then to start, you're just going to wrap it around the template once, like this. Your line, your, your ribbon in the back will be more straight than the deep angle that you'll have in the front. Wrap it around to the front once, so you'll have one pass, two pass. Wrap it once more around. Make sure that the ends of your ribbon touch, but do not overlap. It'll be easier to shape it later on. Make one final wrap. Again, making sure your ends are touching, but not overlapping. Now, when you get to the ends here, what I do is I slightly overlap, you know, slightly overlap my cut. Slice the ribbon off like that. Um, I do heat seal at this moment because you will be handling the ribbon and you don't want it to fray. So just quick pass with your lighter. Take your second clip, clip it to the end. Okay, so this is what it'll look like right now. Three passes in the front, two in the back. Here comes the dreaded sewing now. <laughs> I know none of you like to sew, but this is pretty painless. You're going to find where the template, where that channel is right here in the template. You're going to want to find that down through the ribbon at the bottom and start at the bottom of the ribbon. And it's just a simple running stitch. Make sure to get all of the layers of ribbon. Do not poke your finger because bloody ribbon is not attractive. Been there, done that. <laughs> it's stuck. Sorry, ladies, my ribbon is being, my uh, needle's being very stubborn. 
Um, with the one and a half inch, you're going to want to sew up one pass. Pull all your thread through, but do not cinch it. And then keep sewing up. Um, if you have a really super long needle, you won't need to do this, but as you can see, I do not have a super long needle, so this is how I have to do it. Try to keep your stitches straight. Um, it'll make it easier when you are cinching up later if your stitches are straight. If they are crooked, you're going to have a little bit more difficulty with this. But as long as you are doing just a simple running stitch, you really shouldn't have a problem with keeping your stitches straight. Sorry, I have like a huge amount of thread here, so it's a lot to pull through. When you reach the top, pull your thread through, but like I said, do not cinch it. You're going to want to wrap the thread around the back, up to the front. And then take your needle and pass it through the top once more. This will make cinching it so much easier. This has been a trial and error with me, so I'm sharing with you guys the easiest way I have found. Okay, so you can unclip the ribbon now. Slide the ribbon off of your template. Lay it down on a flat surface, just like this. You're going to want to hold the ribbon down, but do not hold the thread. And it is just a simple matter of pulling your ribbon, uh, pulling your thread tight. Pick it up, still pulling tightly so that it doesn't come loose. Wrap it around a couple times, really. If you're using good upholstery thread like I do, you I only wrap it around twice, you know, two or three times more. You can play around with a little bit, it, with it a little bit, get it to lay how you want, and then you just tie off on the back. Again, you guys may do your tie offs a little differently. This is how I do mine. Don't feel the need to follow exactly how I do it, but. I thread the needle up, I put it up through the thread, but not through the ribbon, wrap it around twice, of course if you have kinks in the thread, you know, there's a pause in the video where it just looks really bad. <laughs> But you guys know, like, every single tutorial I've ever done, there's some type of kink, and this knotted with this hanging out, so. When this happens, I just take it like this, and tie off. your thread. You won't need that anymore. Now take your pinwheel and it's just a matter of flattening it out. Um, and you want to go to the ends and make sure they're even. This one needs to be trimmed up a little bit. Once you trim it, heat seal it. Okay, so here you go. You have 
a sweet and adorable pinwheel bow. Um, you don't have to leave the end straight cut like these are. Um, I have one here that's V-cut. This one is angle cuts. It's all about your personal preference, really. Um, it's however you want to do it. Um, but that is how you make the pinwheel to, you know, the pinwheel. Um, like I said, I leave my ribbon on the roll when I do this because the only little bit of scrap that I have is this tiny itty bitty little piece that I cut off of to even up the tails. Um, I hope this helps you. Like I said, I will leave a link down below on where I got my templates. Um, they come in a wide range, a wide range of sizes. I think it goes from a one inch template all the way up to a six inch template. Um, there's, as you can see, they're super easy to use, well worth the download and printing. Um, if you have any questions or other tutorial requests, please leave them in the comments below. And do, do not forget also to click the little subscribe button somewhere down here. And um, check out the rest of the tu tutorials I have. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you do. Thanks.